Is the fluoride in your toothpaste poisoning you? Let's see why we recommend fluoride first. Fluoride inside the toothpaste is in a limit or a dose that is okay to be used and it's not harmful at all. But why, why do dentists recommend fluoride so much? Why do we do it in our dental cleaning? We do fluoride treatments. My own toothpaste contains fluoride and I do it at least in the morning and evenings. What is the point of that? Our dental enamel is made of hydroxyapatites, units of hydroxyapatite that are next to each other making our enamel. When fluoride hits your teeth, it gets absorbed by the tooth into the enamel. It will replace the hydroxy element. So instead of hydroxyapatite, you will have fluoroapatite. Fluoroapatite is stronger toward cavities than hydroxyapatite. It's really interesting to know that your own enamel components are less strong toward the cavities compared to the components that have had fluoride in them. So teeth that have been exposed to fluoride or have regular fluoride exposure will be stronger toward cavities, decays, acid attacks, and sensitivity. That's why your dentist recommends you having a toothpaste that has fluoride in it. A lot of dental structure or enamel structure is mineral. When you get a dental cavity, it's because the tooth demineralizes. So the minerals get out of the tooth. We give you fluoride in your diet, maybe in your tap water or in your toothpaste because it will help remineralization. What does that mean? Remineralization is a tooth that is demineralizing, going back to its mineralized stage. If it's still in the early stages of getting a cavity, the fluoride can actually help the tooth repair itself and resist toward the cavity. And next, having fluoride in the tap water and in your toothpaste is a very cost-effective way of reducing dental cavities in your mouth. So we do that so the population in general are exposed to harmless and okay doses of fluoride so they can go on with their lives and have a little bit of fluoride in their water or their toothpaste and in general have less cavities than what they would have if there was no fluoride in their water and their toothpaste. What are the potential risks? One is dental fluorosis, which is when a child is growing up and it's in their development stages, if they intake and ingest a lot of fluoride, they can have dental fluorosis in the future. Imagine the tooth is just erupting, it's still in the jaw, it's the adult tooth basically. It's still developing and the kid ingests a lot of fluoride, not so much to poison them, but a lot that will go through the dental structure. And later on in life, you can see in their adult teeth that there is faint white lines on the tooth surface. Usually this is mainly a cosmetic issue that can be resolved by dental veneers or dental bondings. The link to learn about dental veneers and bonding will be right here to watch. Allergy or intolerance to fluoride is extremely rare, but it can happen in some people. Mainly the question from so many people, especially online, is fluoride can poison you, it can cause some sort of brain damage in the future. Remember that if it is FDA approved, TJ approved, if basically the governing body have checked and said that this dose is safe for you to use, it cannot cause any brain damage for you. Yes, it can be poisonous, but anything in excessive amount can be poisonous. If you eat a whole tube of toothpaste, yes, there is a chance that you get poisoned. But if you're just using it small amount in your toothpaste, it's just having benefits for your dental structure in the future. I personally rinse and spit out. Most dentists say do not rinse and leave it on because yes, the fluoride stays on your teeth and it will make your teeth stronger. I rather brush my teeth more, but rinse out and not drink and eat a lot of fluoride every night. It's a personal choice. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next one.